Hi gang, Ed here, and I just wanted to take the opportunity to show you a bit about YouTube. And you're going, oh, come on, Ed, I know all there is to know about YouTube. Well, with your newfound powers and skills that we're throwing at you with the 30 Day Challenge preseason, I am about to show you how to use YouTube in a whole new way, which is really, really cool. Now, the first thing you need to do is sign in and actually have your own YouTube account. Now, of course, currently I'm signed in, so I'm just going to click the sign out button for a sec. And you can see here there is a sign up button. So if you click on the sign up button, give them a few details there. Just, uh, you know, the standard stuff. Type that in and create your account, which is really, really cool. And I'll show you why. So once you're in, make sure you uh, sign in. Oh, by the way, of course, remember how you send up a Google account? Pfft, glad I remember this. You can use your Google account with your YouTube account to keep them all integrated. And there's some cool reasons to do that as well. So uh, you can just use your Google account that you created for the 30 day challenge pre-season when we were showing you Google Reader. Either or is fine. I've been a YouTube member since the start, so I do have a separate login as it turns out. So I'm just gonna click sign in. And you can see we've got a home page here, uh, which shows a few things. There's subscriptions. You can subscribe once you've signed into YouTube. You can subscribe, and I'll show you how to do that. Uh, you can also see stuff that is recommended for you. Now I am going to uh, put up. I'm going to go to my home. Now you can customize your home page, do all that sort of stuff a bit later. What I want to do is go to my actual page which is if you go to youtube.com and then we click uh, Ed Dale. Here we are. Boom, we're into my channel page. So you can see- Hi again, I hope you're enjoying Google Reader and I hope you're enjoying getting that extra time. So you can see uh, all our current videos here, which is all very nice, but you don't necessarily need to come to this this uh, this particular page. It's just it's sort of useful for listing all the different uh, videos and so on that that are there. What I wanted to show you is by coming to this page, look what our good old Flock browser does. Yes, thank you very much, Flock. You can see up here that there is a feed available: YouTube videos by Ed Dale. How cool! So by clicking on that, and again, it might play funny buggers with me because I've already actually logged into this but if you click add to Google Reader boom okay so that's the first thing let's go into the actual YouTube video itself Hi again I hope one. you're enjoying Google okay we'll go into this latest one here and I wanted to show you a couple of Hi again I hope you're enjoying Google okay I'm gonna pause there as much as I love to hear myself speak. Okay, so the first thing that I want to show you, which really does stand out, of course, is that Flock has detected one or more media streams. Click on the orange media icon in the address bar to load any available media streams into Flock's media bar. I'm not gonna show you this today. This is very, very cool for blogging purposes. Uh, I'll show you all about it later on, but just remember that I did mention it to you. So I'm just gonna click that off uh, so it doesn't distract us. Now, of course, another great feature, of course, of the Flock browser is that you can see that there's a search engine here. You can s include YouTube video search in your drop down search menu, which is really, really good. So I, if I want to choose, see, I was checking out some chords there. There we are, YouTube video search. Uh, so if I wanted to get the free fallen, I imagine video. Yeah, look at this. Boom. And I get a version of Free Fallen, hopefully a good one, with a bit of luck. Hey, what's up everyone? I'm here today, I'm going to show you uh, how to play Tom Petty's Free Fallen. So what you're going to do, you're going to capo at the third fret. How cool is this? Very simple. Okay, now this, this song D is sustained. D. Songs like. Anyway, enough guitar. So, and it's amazing, let me tell you, when you're searching for something, it's amazing what you can find on YouTube and how many people are waking up to the power of using YouTube to promote their products. If you've got something that can be demonstrated or anything like that, YouTube is awesome for that. However, not what we're uh, 
not what we're discovering today, but I did want to show you a couple of these features. So you can see we've got obviously got the video there and I can just uh, turn this, this off there, uh, which is very cool. So if I wanted to subscribe to this guy's uh, videos, then all I would do is hit the subscribe button. Automatically that would keep track and every time he put up a new video and it would be logged in, um, I logged in, I'd see that he had a new video. However, I've got to say the feed version that I showed you, remember how I showed you to go, for example, if I went to beginner for beginners, his actual page, which is here. Oh, look, he's got some really cool stuff. Love that. Hallelujah. Uh, then all you can see, I've got a feed here and I can do YouTube beginner for beginners. Very cool. And I can add that to my Google reader. And that'll load that in. And of course, the great thing with Google Reader is when you look at it, as I just clicked in there, the videos appear right in there. Now, see something else that's very cool? Did you notice there that I can email, Flock gives me an email option, a blog option, and a view stream option. As three, the blog option is the one I use the most where it'll automatically frame up a blog post for you using that particular video which is really really slick uh, but again we'll show you more on that when we get into blogging down the track so we've got our feeds now we can also get we'll go into this particular video I wonder what finger you can use this for hallelujah probably my favorite song of all time okay so let's uh, have a look at some of the features around that we've shown you the subscribe now, of course, there's the ratings bar here, um, and I love it, love you long time, uh, when you give me a five-star rating, which is lovely. Uh, you see, you can rate videos, which is very, very nice, and love you to do that. Also, this is a new feature. You can also watch the video in high quality, and that, particularly for the 30-day challenge videos, it's really, really cool. And you can see here, like, how much more sharper is that? which is which is really nice so I can just pause that drag that through there so very good and what else can we do so you've got ratings you can watch in high definition you can go full screen and on the high definition it's not bad is it that'll work press play and what I do I play the bass string, which it happens to be the fifth string. In the so thing. there you have it. So you can do a full screen, which is very nice as well. And that's particularly looks good when you're using the high quality version of the video. Click escape. Got a lot of screen flow to be able to do that. Uh, what else can we do? You can share. Now, what's really interesting, remember we just showed you StumbleUpon in our last video. Check this out. Of course, if you're registered in StumbleUpon and you can set this up in your YouTube profiles, you can actually stumble this video. And so if I type my particular review for this uh, and uh, what's the site about now, I hope we've got music down here somewhere. Uh, I'm gonna call it music theory and I'm gonna recommend the video. So I've just stumbled that. Now, here's the cool thing. We haven't showed you this yet. But by me stumbling that video, that has scooted out, thanks to the magic of, yes, I'm going to mention it again, friend feed, that has literally been distributed to literally, in my case, tens of thousands of places, just like that, with one little interaction. When you start to see how you can use these for marketing purposes, all of a sudden, you are in town. But again, it's just pre-season. You can see you can also uh, dig, which we haven't shown you yet. Uh, you can also set up a blog, which is fantastic. There's a whole bunch of share options if you click here. And I mean, this is fantastic. And this is what's driving this whole uh, web 2.0 phenom. And when, okay, little sneak preview. Think about it from the perspective of your niche or you may not have a niche yet, but imagine it's trout fishing. 
Imagine if you were going around searching all these trout fishing sites and you had a blog with trout fishing stuff on it and all of a sudden people who are looking for trout fishing information would all of a sudden start to regard you as the place to go to get all their latest information because they don't have time to do all this because they, let's face it, most people don't know how to do what I'm showing you. And that's part of the magic. So, you know, keep that in mind. And there, you know, there we are, we can blog, we can email, there are comments, there are all sorts of things that we can do. You can hit the favorite button, which is really interesting. And the favorites is very handy. And I should have mentioned this. If you favorite a video, if you've got something like Apple TV, or the, I think the very latest version of TiVo and some of the other cable boxes which have YouTube in them, you're actually able to watch YouTube on your home television set. And I think the Apple TV is like 260 bucks in the US, and I, I noticed John Reese is always uh, raving on about his, and I use mine all the time. Uh, you can get all the 30 day challenge content on YouTube, and, on, sorry, on Apple TV, and of course, if you're subscribed to anybody, anybody you're subscribed to, just automatically, magically, is on your Apple TV, which is super duper cool. So I must give you a video, I'll do a video and show you my Apple TV because it's sick, but that's for another day. So there's just a few of the things that you can do to be able to um, utilize YouTube a lot better. There are messages and stuff like that. I honestly, I, people send me email and stuff on YouTube. I don't, I don't use it for that. Um, but it's a very, very powerful medium, and it's good for you now in pre-season to get yourself set up with an account, and you know, go and set up all your various profiles so that you're able to use these share capabilities. So, for example, and for a bit of homework, make sure you add your stumble upon profile here on YouTube so you can stumble videos that you like. For example, 30-day challenge videos that would be lovely. All right, folks. We'll catch you again soon with the next lesson and there's some cool YouTube. Don't forget that feed. I love that feed thing. It's really cool because if you do the 30 day challenge feed, take the Ed Dale feed, you'll get the uh, videos that much quicker again. All right, enough for today. See you soon.